A Kankakee school board voted to fire a teacher tonight after a video posted online showing him hurling a racial slur at a student in the classroom. But as WJN Shannon Halligan explains, the student's family doesn't think that's enough. This teacher had been on paid leave since last week, but the student's family said that this shouldn't have even happened after the teacher threw a book at the student back in September. This cell phone video has been circulated on social media after it captured a teacher at Kankakee High School calling a student a racial slur as the student leaves the classroom. 15-year-old Michael Nelson Jr. said he was that student. I was afraid, nervous. It's the word that's never been approached to me by a white man or a black man or any type of race or a person ever said that to me. After the video was posted online, the algebra teacher was placed on administrative leave until the school board met. Be aware that we were all horrified by the, what we saw on video, just as you were. But we had to make sure that what we saw was an accurate portrayal of what occurred. At the Kankakee School Board meeting Monday night, the board voted to terminate the teacher. That was absolutely unacceptable. We acknowledge that there's absolutely nothing that any student can do to deserve having that word used against them. There's nothing that the student did to deserve it. But the sophomore's mother and attorney say the incident shouldn't have happened in the first place. They say the teacher threw a book at Nelson on September 29th and the racial slur came after the teacher returned to the school. Two weeks ago, a little bit over two weeks ago, they should have been took care of this because that's what I was promised when they informed me and my son informed me of this, the first incident. We have a teacher that assaulted and battered a child by throwing a book at him. On September 29th, the, not only the police should have been called, DCFS should have been called because you are now abusing a, a child. They are mandatory reporters. This assistant principal, the principal, the superintendent should have taken action on that day. We wouldn't have had this second incident happen if they took action on this day. Following the board meeting tonight, the student's family met with the superintendent. They said that the teacher's firing was just a band-aid to the problem. They said that they want a full investigation into both incidents. In the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.